You're back. What did you find out? Lots of documents full of lists and numbers. Nothing suspicious. But I did find an entry title door with four numbers underneath. Four, sixty, nine, forty-one. I wrote them down for you. You did great. These numbers are sure to be the code for the door. Thanks for your help. Well, if you need my help again, you know where to find me. Would you like to come with me? Maybe I can use a little partner somewhere. Wow! Yes, please! There are the chocolate sloth was talking about in the shop window. Two sea stone small ounces of indulgence per chocolate, with and without alcohol. Almost every house in the upper town has a drain leading to the sewer. In the lower town, things look different. Many residents just tip their effluence into the street and trust that it will somehow make its way below. Timmy, do you think you could find a way into the bakery through the sewers? Of course I can. And maybe you could uh, borrow a chocolate? No, but I could steal one. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to incite you into doing something illegal. It's not against the law for rats to steal food. It's expected of us. Really? Have you ever heard of a rat being thrown into jail for food theft? Ah, true. Off you go then. Hopefully it'll work. There's Timmy, he's inside. Hmm, looks like he can only carry one chocolate at a time. A red one. He understood me. He has the red wrapped chocolate and is heading up. What's he up to now? Wilbur? Ah, there you are. The chocolate. Catch! Now it's your turn. No need. Well, how did I do? Good job, Timmy. I think we could use another chocolate. A blue one this time. OK. There he goes, up onto the roof. Catch! Good work!
I got you a chocolate. Ah, well, the thought was there, but those are the wrong ones. The red ones contain alcohol. Alcohol makes love tired. I'm afraid that's true. I only eat the blue ones without alcohol. Oh, well, I meant well. I'll just swap the blue and red wrappers. Done. Do you want another one of your favourite alcohol-free chocolates? Oh, of course. Very clever plan, Williver. Hmm, that was a pretty hard thump. Perhaps we'd better call a doctor. No, ogre skull unbashable. Okay, fine, if you say so. What did you want to tell me, Blout? I hope it was worth it. Blout has golem. Or... Part of Golem. Your brother's Golem? No, other Golem. Blout bought it. Why did you buy a Golem? And why don't you want Zloth to know anything about it? Zloth always so much work, much stress, much row. Blout scared to fight more. Zloth leave him one day. Um. Right. That's why Blout by Golem should help in Inn. Sloth and Blout have holiday. I see. And since Sloth had some bad experiences building Golems, you wanted to keep it secret until it's finished. <laughs> Where is the Golem? Or the parts? Here. It's broken. Yes, I see that. Blout buy more parts, then shout at until Golem come alive. I don't think that will work. Yes, Zloth hear and complain. Blout should not play with magic thingies. Willibur must build Golem, then Blout stop making fun of Willibur's size. But you've never made fun of my size. Willibur so small, mice call him dwarf. Blout not say again if Willibur help. Okay, fine. How about this? I'll help you out and build the golem, but it's mine until the election and I can do what I want with it. I'll bring it back after the election and the golem can help you and Zloth here in the inn. Mm, uh, okay. Ooh, oh, what happened? Zloth, sleepyhead. See you later, Blout. Fantastic. What have we here? Hmm, a torso and nothing else. Arms, legs and head are missing. Hmm, a few old notes have fallen out of it. Mow the lawn, wash the dishes, chop a basket full of firewood, then do nothing. Find the Holy Grail in the castle of Arg. Stop! 
by the gods, stop right this moment. These must be old commands that someone put in the golem's mouth. The torso appears to be in good shape, except the fact that it's broken off at the hip. I'd say it's made of some kind of stone. It looks pretty heavy, even though it's hollow. I guess it's best if I leave it lying where it is and then add the missing pieces here. It looks like Bill's delivery's finally arrived. I wonder if this box is supposed to move. I've heard of trunks with hundreds of legs, but this looks like a normal packing crate. Oi, what are you doing? This, this crate is moving. That's all right, that's... Stop him! Stop! Stay put! Outrageous! Just you wait. You're gonna have to wait a hell of a long time for your gold. What was that? Absolute bonkers. Ooh, there's a piece of paper in the crate. Delivery note. Better World Ironworks. One piss pot model carefree. Four pieces of gold. Better World Ironworks. Never heard of it. Lots of new companies sprung up after the war. Hello, Bill. Wilbur. That thing running about over there, what is it? A darn scam, that's what it is. They won't get a penny out of me, sending me such a wild thing. Yes, but what exactly is it? A piss pot. Sounded like a good idea. We equip piss pots with legs. You don't do the walking when it's time to empty your bladder. But why the devil give a pot legs that means he scurries about like a boar on fire? What are these Better World Ironworks? They're those darn crooks what sold me this useless piss pot. Those do-gooders. Do-gooders? Yes. They collected swords, armor, and all that stuff after the war. Plow blades from swords, piss pots from helmets, that kind of rubbish. You mean, this piss pot was once some soldier's helmet? Could have belonged to a general for all I care. Now it's a piss pot on the run. Ah, a soldier's helmet converted into a piss pot with legs. No wonder he doesn't like it. Do you sell crocodile tears? Can order them. Be here in three days. Ah, that's too late. Oh, the fine sir wants free overnight delivery, does he? You sell dragon sweat? Dragon sweat? That's very expensive. Uh, I was afraid of that, but I need it badly. I mean expensive like I'll give you half of my kingdom and my prettiest daughter. Even you can't afford that. Hmm. Too bad. I have to be going, Bill. See you next time. See ya. <laughs>